Let's talk about accessing nodes through Python. Obviously this is quite important and can be quite complex depending on the comp script you're dealing with. In this case we have our main node graph here which contains a group node whose internals we see down here and we can also see that group 1 contains another group called group 2. So we have nested groups and therefore three different levels of uh, node collections if you will to deal with. So let's get started with the easiest and probably most used one called nuke.selected node. nuke.selected node will simply return the node that is currently selected on root level. It will not care about any selections in any existing groups. So if I run this we're getting switch one. If I change the selection and run again we get the respective node like so. If there is multiple nodes selected, like so, nuke.selected node will return the node that was selected last. So we're getting switch one. If I select the same nodes, but this time from the top down, we'll get blur four. If nothing is selected, nuke.selected node will return a value error. So check for that in your scripts. The big brother of this guy is simply nuke.selected nodes. And this will return a list of all selected nodes on root level. So if I grab these guys here and run the code, you see we are being returned a list of nodes. So let's quickly loop through those and see what their names are to really see what's going on. Like so. And that will return the names of the currently selected nodes like that. If nothing is selected, this command will actually return an empty list. So it is not going to give you an error, but an empty list like so. If you don't care about the selection, but you simply want to get all the nodes that are on root level, you can use nuke.all nodes, like so. And that will give you all the nodes on root level, no matter whether they're selected or not. The cool thing about nuke.all nodes and nuke.selected nodes is that you can actually give them a filter. So if I only care about the blur nodes in my script, I can punch in the node class here and run the code again and it will give me all the blur nodes on root level. The same again works for selected nodes, like so. And that will give me the blur nodes in the current selection. You can also access a node by its name by simply using nuke.toNode followed by the name you're after. So let's grab blur4 and if I run this code no matter what's selected I will get the node on root level with the name blur4. So let's actually store this in a variable called my node and let's go and find all the nodes that depend on blur4 with either their input pipes or via expressions and you can do this by using nuke.dependent nodes nuke.dependent nodes takes two arguments, or can take two arguments, the first one being the type of dependency you're after and the second one being the master node. For the type of dependencies you can choose either visible input pipes, hidden input pipes or expressions. Let's do all three of those. First I want to check all the nodes that are connected to blur4 with visible pipes. So I just type nuke.inputs. The second argument is our master node, so that's my node. And if I run this, I'm being given a list of nodes. So once again, let's loop through them to print their names. And running this will tell me that transform1 and transform2 are indeed connected to blur4. What about hidden input pipes? Apparently grade 1 is connected to blur 4 through a hidden input pipe and we can confirm that by simply selecting grade 1 and we can see indeed it is connected. What about expressions? Apparently blur 3 and blur 1 depend on blur 4 because they have expression links. Let's check that. Turning on the expression arrows will also confirm that. And if you just want to grab all the dependent nodes, no matter what the dependency is, you can simply omit the first argument and type nodes 
equals followed by either a single node or a list of nodes. And running that will give you all the nodes that depend on my node some way or other.